Namaste Angels, I'm going to do a client reading for a woman who contacted me via email. I don't otherwise know her. We haven't otherwise spoken. Um, she had first contacted me a few months back, um, like inquiring about the reading, but she didn't purchase one. Then the other day, all of a sudden, uh, she contacted me again, letting me know that she had made the purchase. And that's just that she like felt that she really needed a reading right now. So she didn't even go into... Um, you know, about what specifically it was she wanted to know, just that she's, you know, going nuts like so many of us. And I presume there is a particular man or woman um, who is contributing to her craziness. So that's what I'm going to look into first, beginning with my Tony Carmine Salerno Universal Love Oracle and Forgiveness with Kuan Yin. I got to tell you, though, when I first opened the first card I opened to when I was about to start shuffling was Mary crying um, the card sorrow here. And then after I shuffled this deck, I shuffled this one and came to mother, wife, sister, daughter with Lady Nada. This is uh, Doreen Virtue, Ascended Masters. And then here, um, the Empress with Archangel Gabriel which the Empress represents the planet Venus for me and can be somebody's mother. And then with the Romance Angels, Doreen Virtue, Romance Angel, Oracle, Past Life Relationship. It's very possible that there's an issue um, with somebody uh, and their mother, a relationship that needs to be healed between a you know mother and child that's um, blocking any potential union that could be here, um, or one of the, one of the things contributing to, you know, blocking and, or, I mean, there could be some past life issues too, um, between one and their mother that have, um, manifested in this lifetime as well. So, um, going back to mothers <laughs> and, um, vibrations of the mother, I'm beginning with Kuan Yin and forgiveness. And to speak of the mother, here she is with blessings. Kuan Yin. Guardian. Guardian is about what it looks like. Um, we have an angel. There's Raphael outside, too. He just, like, it was very quick. <laughs> and to speak of the mother again, this is the card about which I was talking, sorrow. So here she is sad. Uh, maybe somebody's mother's in um, poor health, ailing health, <sighs> forgiveness. I'll go one more. Answered prayer. If that's the case, maybe we've been, you know, that somebody's mother is in ailing health or a relationship, again, with somebody's mother um, is in failing health. Our prayer is being answered, perhaps, um, that that situation turns around in either case. Answer prayer. I'm going to cut. Earth connection. So somebody may be an earth sign too. That's another potential um, reason for this card to show up. The Empress, which again for me represents Venus, which rules both the signs of Libra and Taurus. So somebody may be a Taurus in particular that's involved here. Um, underneath that is the Knight of Earth, um, which can also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the Wheel, which doesn't directly represent Taurus for me, but can. Um, it immediately represents... Um, Sagittarius, because it represents the planet Jupiter, and that Jupiter rules Sagittarius. However, it also represents for me the fixed signs with Taurus being one of those. So that could be um, a factor too. And the overall energy is miracles. So I'm just going to lay um, five cards here to see if what they'll tell me about the relationship in a general sense. Perhaps what kind of relationship it is.
And I don't know why five or why I do this. It, I, it's just something I, I always have done. Fear is first out of the gate. Um, so that's a major inhibitor, of course, to um, any type of coming together between two people, uh, be it a romantic relationship or one with their parent. But this is, well, here I'm focusing on, um, again, the potential union between two people. The next card is Trilogy of Light. We're getting warmer, as they say, because this card for me represents um, not just the trilogy, but like the trinity. It's, you know, the two beings and then in connection with the universe. The same colors here, too. So maybe there's fear in approaching a relationship like this. Fear of being this connected, you know, and, and like in a divine way connected by God as they say what God has brought together let no man tear asunder maybe that's scary to one or both of the people involved here heaven on earth there's a need to let go of something in order to of something old in order to make space vacate a space for something new and that something old potentially may be a past life relationship with another like a quote unquote karmic relationship um next up eternal flame some more of these same colors coming together yet again and as i said before perhaps fear of this type of relationship And lastly, creativity. This, this card always says quite a bit to me. Um, it's not saying anything romantic, and so I don't want to spend too much time on it. But there is something about this water bearer here and her cups um, that's trying to come through in connection with this couple, potential couple. Let me go on to the next part to see what else comes through. But we already have, a, again, eternal flame here, but I think um, blockages not only by fear, but holding on one or more people uh, involved here, holding on to something old. And so they cannot, they're preventing or prohibiting um, anything new from entering. Let's shuffle these up a little bit in my hand again and do another spread. And the overall energy is now listening. And there may be an Aquarius involved here too. Um, cause now this is like the second Aquarius type card for me that, that creativity one definitely speaks a lot of Aquarius to me. Also Pisces, because it's like these translucent fish at the bottom that I didn't show you guys or stop to talk about. Um, but the woman in that picture, she also has a star on her. She's holding this cup, um, with something that appears to be spilling out of it. Aquarius is the water bearer. She's standing in water. There's a few things anyway. Um, but now this one with this star sort of, um, illuminating down upon this this woman and she is definitely listening paying close attention she's in full uh surrender to the messages eyes closed body you know just loose arms dropped as if she's practically sleeping she's really she's really um playing like intent attention um to what's coming in i'm gonna lay the cross here Feminine, with regard to herself, golden memory. She may be 
uh, the person or at least one of the people who is holding on to something old because this card indicates that she needs to let go of past resentment, pain, fear, um, regrets, anything that's like baggage, negative emotion, negative attachment, cords, let go of all that and just take and retain the golden memories, the positive, the lessons, take that and move forward. So this, um, if she in the 3D sense is not aware that she needs to do this, her higher self um, certainly is and is trying to make her aware that it's trying to drop all the old baggage um, so that we are able to move on towards something new, similar to the heaven on earth card that came through before. The masculine um, with regard to the feminine in this case, divine guidance he's learned something from her and this is what the um the hierophant or the high priest card means for me it's in many ways an indication that we need to surround ourselves with people of our vibration or higher um who are going to be generous with us not necessarily with their money i mean that that can be too but that's not what i mean i'm mean, like with their time with their energy and from whom we can learn something and that is how the masculine here feels about the feminine that she um, is very contributory to his growth and in fact provides divine guidance infinite divine guidance like he knows um that that's you know that doesn't run out like she's always there um even not, if not in the physical the connection is ever present and he knows that he can always draw from it. Similar to the eternal flame, right? That's an indication that this just goes on forever and ever and ever. It never stops. Masculine with regard to himself. Seeking balance, in need of balance, trying to um, bring his lights and his darks together where they meet um, nicely in the middle. And you see, it's, there's been some pain attached to doing that. And so he, this masculine here in this picture, um, is falling back on his divine guidance and support system here that in the feminine. So very interesting that these cards um, that he chose for himself and for you, or his higher self did, sitting side by side like this with you know very similar meaning. A very sim similar message coming through about the union as a whole physical body he feels that um it brings out vulnerable vulnerability in the two of you um and very much so the lights that he's seeking here to bring together with the dark is found here this woman is all surrounded by, you know, yellow and orange. This is like the light um, and the ray of Uriel, Archangel Uriel, um, God's light. First on the mountain to see that the dark was trying to invade and to let God know that it was the, you know, the devil was trying to enter paradise because he lit everything up and he could see that. And then the orange um, is Archangel Ariel and, you know, she warms us all here and heals our sacral chakra, all of these things. So he's drawing upon, he needs this like to live, like it's vital. Overall, transients, the two of you being healed by the universe um, simultaneously, not necessarily at the same speed at the same dimensional vibration or any of that not necessarily possibly but not necessarily but simultaneously being healed nonetheless and that's that's the important part both approaching um surrender in that sense to allow the universe to help you but the outcome is this the fear is back this is the outcome you probably both could use some energy work um i mean i'm very proud of mine but not, not necessarily mine like there's you you might be able to you might both benefit from like some acupuncture perhaps is coming to mind uh, working with crystals for release of some of this fear i recommend black obsidian um Maybe specifically raw black obsidian. Get you a nice piece. Put it under your pillow. Sleep atop it. 
not forever. <laughs> Black obsidian is, is pretty strong, especially raw. Um, but sleep atop it a few days. That will help you to release some of the, um, the fear and to balance you out. Look how the fear is like crossing the balance. What would the masculine have the feminine do in order to sort of try to bring this uh, union here together and heal it? Come up with creative ways of expressing her self to him. So maybe your communication, your verbal communication, isn't the best between the two of you. Um, and that's okay with him. He's open to other ways, creative ways. You know, talk is cheap to any way, as they say. Like he wants, it's like a show me type of thing. Um, and there's a song like this too, that's, that's by a man. Oh, um, Tory Lanez, how, oh, that's that song. He, you, you have to do more than just say it. You know, he wants you get to do it. So come up with creative ways to demonstrate what it is um, you've otherwise been too afraid to say. What is he willing to do or like sacrifice in order to bring this together? Let go of this old thing that's holding him back so that he can move toward the new. And that's pretty valiant of him. Um, I understand that he would need to first um, not feel so imbalanced in order to do that. I mean, yeah, this, this takes a, um, this takes an, in, like an intent and like a conscience of, and sound mind to really be done with something and let it go forever and welcome what's ahead of you, your future. So that's why he's working on this. What would the universe have the two of you to do or surrender toward um, coming together? And that is, ah, the universal heart, the divine healer of all time. This is upon whom the two of you can call, draw for that divine guidance outside of yourselves, outside of the two of you. You're going to go here. And again, it's like the same colors. He has this green here. He has the green here in the center of this card. You know, the rest, the blue, there's white specks here. We have the moon here with the white. This also indicates surrender. The moon indicates full surrender. So this is like surrendering to the divine. If I had to translate this as a verbal message. That's what the two of you are to do. Nice. I want to see more connection now. Maybe I'll pull out the hashtag creepy deck. Um, I might do that. Let me go on to this one first. However, it's my angel tarot beginning again with the Empress, which represents for me the planet Venus that rules Libra and Taurus. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams that, um, and nurture yourself and others. This card can represent uh, in general and certainly for me, mothers, um, as well as mothering, nurturing yourself and other people. Maybe a family, 10 of water, represent family for me um, often. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. And you have trustworthy relationships. The Empress. Queen of Fire. Confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful is the Queen of Fire. She's also a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Queen of Fire is also the quintessential divine feminine of the tarot. The Empress, and one more. It's the Knight of Fire, representing the same zodiac signs. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless is the Knight of Fire. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So I would definitely say that a fire sign and maybe specifically Sagittarius 
although that's not normally what the knight represents to me or the queen. It's usually the page that says Sagittarius to me. However, before when I went through the other cards and I picked up the Wheel of Fortune, it represents Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. So. The aid of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So we saw this um, come through quite a bit in the first spread, especially with regard to the masculine as he and what he was describing or his um, feelings about the feminine, that she helps him to, um, to, to desire more. She causes him to desire something higher, <laughs> something more elevated than um, what he is presently experiencing. And there's a song like that too, um, like Bring Me a Higher Love. It's, it's about ascended relationships, um, whether, <laughs> you know, the people who sing it, perform it, wrote it, um, realize that or not, higher love, it translates to ascended relationships, at least for me. Um, overall energy is the Ace of Earth. Very nice. This is a divine new beginning. Maybe after you let go of the old stuff, also represents the signs of Taurus. So that's coming back. Virgo and Capricorn, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Oh, this one flew out on its own. So we're going to put it right here. I don't even know from where it came, like what part of the deck. Masculine is a four of fire, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, and the successful completion of a project. The four of fire um, can be about peace, feeling peace, feeling, which is interesting. I, I just paused because I thought about him from the other spread. He was seeking that peace, seeking balance. Um, in part, maybe achieving it because something um, that needed to end in his life is ending and or, or has ended recently. This is the world. And that's what the world says to me. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a situation. It's when the universe steps in to help you to end it and to help to pull you out of it and to put you um, in a position for something new. A job well done. Joy, contentment and gratitude in the path toward enlightenment. You see here. The successful completion of a project, a job well done. So this is something that's over. Now, this is also our second three because I started with the Empress, which is Major Arcana card three. And now this is the world, Major Arcana card, the world, 21 equals three. Potential for a party of three, what I call a party of three situation here. And that is when there's a third energy that is a, an inhibitor, a prohibitor to the connection to the union. But justice here, so maybe the masculine um, recently approaching a legal situation presently, um, which will be successful on his end, or a, what actually what I was thinking of first is divorce or some other sort of um, breakup with, you know, in a, from a serious relationship, um, a previously committed relationship for a fire, definitely potentially representing commitment, maybe even marriage, um, as can justice and being separated by the world, which again is about something ending, um, often like a long trying situation, you know, you, you gave it all you could and you like stayed too long. And it's the universe had to step in and pull you out and say, that's over. Um, let's get you into something new that's going to bring you happiness. And so um, this can definitely be at the end of a marriage. Let's see what else, what the other cards say. The six of fire, victory, good news, it's on its way. Public recognition or awards. 
And remember also that this is the one that leapt out of the deck. Again, I don't even know from where. The feminine is surrounded by the two of earth. Juggling is a possibility here, juggling something or trying to find the balance between like career and home life, all work and no play makes Jill a dull girl. This can also be um, the need to make a decision. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Feminine subconscious, the lovers, which can also demonstrate the need to make a decision. Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions. Good health. You got a crown by six and rooted by six also. Similar to here. Four plus eight is 12 and here the 21 in the middle. So we got three, three equals six. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, where are the the romance cards? You're crowned, the union is crowned by the two of water. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, one of the first things I, one of, of, with what I began actually with the Tony Carmine Universal Love Oracle um, in the first spread. Forgiveness and Kuan Yin. Forgiveness and the positive resolution of a conflict between the two of you. At the root, the night of earth. Loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind is the night of earth. It's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. You have a guardian angel. Night of earth, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or somebody taking on those traits or attributes. In the, at the heart of the matter, the seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. The seven of fire surrounded by these decisions or the need to make one. And... Again, it means that you are to defend your decision. So if one relationship was left, for example, uh, in order to enter one here, make room for one with the two of water, you know, people may have something to say about that. Like you, how could you leave your wife or, you know, whatever this is. Um, and the masculine would have to decide you know whom he's going to defend that to and and from whom he's just going to walk away like not even give them his time they're not even worth um the argument for you i guess your decision would be um how much time energy or whether you want to continue giving this time and energy i would say you should um again crowned by the two of water you got two twos here indicates a need um for partnership a desire for partnership. You just got to figure out how to juggle it, how to make it work for you. Lovers, the same thing. Let's see what the romance cards would add to this. Beginning again with past life relationship. You've known each other before. And opening to honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Honeymoon. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Honeymoon. And flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Honeymoon. Playfulness is back. Boom. The overall energy is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So you may be holding on to something that could be what the two of earth represents, the juggling of two relationships or the focus on two relationships, one in your head, one in your heart. Um, which one do I choose? That can certainly be what the lovers is here about and why it's in this particular position, which will represent your conscious or subconscious, um, what you might be thinking about, what your higher self may be focused upon. And the lovers often not only just a decision, but a decision between two quote unquote karmic relationships. Now, before I use the word karmic uh, with quotes around it as well, uh, in relation to... Um, like the other relationship because that's often how it's used but that's not really what karmic means um karmic in truth more so means like destined fated of the universe 
of karma. And so even the appropriate uh, relationship, the divine partnership is um, theoretically or definitively a karmic relationship. Here atop the four of fire, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So the next steps in the masculine's life, um, yeah, he's just going to have to continue to, to believe that he's moving in the right direction. Um, this would indicate the same. Here atop the world, stay optimistic. So yeah, you had a long, trying, difficult time, perhaps um, draining. Maybe it made you feel a certain way, it made you become fearful of opening yourself up to anybody the same way again and all that kind of stuff. But um, the romance angels guide him to stay optimistic about his love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Like that wasn't your last rodeo, as they say. Here atop the justice is past life relationship. You've known each other before. So I think, um, again, an end to a relationship there. Here atop the six of fire, same thing for you. That's why the overall energy is release your ex, I guess. It applies to both of you. For you, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And the six of fire underneath it indicates that you, you know, you can do it. You can be successful at letting go of that old um, and only taking the golden memories forward with you. Let, le again, letting go of the regret, the resentment, the fear, the ego, the, everything that was attached to that. Um, here atop the two of earth, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So not just, um, again, work, 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 and focusing and being serious. Just like that card that kept showing up before, uh, playfulness. Right. Be lighthearted. The flirt. Be lighthearted. And now we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Uh, sitting here atop the two of earth, guiding you to like loosen up a bit. Um, yeah. Loosen up a bit. Free yourself from uh, the restraint that you're imposing upon yourself with all the seriousness and, and, and whatnot. Uh, here atop the lovers, make the effort. This um, is similar to the masculine's choice in card for you earlier with the creativity um, as far as what you can do toward bringing things together between the two of you. Come up with creative ways to express yourself. This is similar. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Here atop the two of water, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So again, being lighthearted, it's here crossing the passion. And by being lighthearted, uh, not being overly serious, enjoying the moment, appreciating the fact that the relationship continues to ascend um, and feeling good about that and putting good energy out is what's going to um, bring the same to you. And that also crosses the masculines stay optimistic about love life because you're both being given the same advice here. Put out the good energy. That's what you're going to get back here atop the night of earth. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And where pentacles are earth and especially court cards represent a relationship. Um, the indication is longevity for that relationship. So if it's safe for you to love, it's safe for you to enter this uh, night of earth, night of pentacles, night of coins type of relationship. It can, it can go like for the long haul, eternal flame sort of love here. At the heart of the matter, atop the seven of fire and just defending yourself and your feelings. Why? Because those feelings are romantic. They're real and worth exploring. Um, so you weren't just crazy or, <laughs> uh, making things up in your head. They're real. They're felt by both. They're here right in the middle. Um, that's 
the only difficulty is the both of you um, had some other things going on and you know your minds and maybe even hearts in some respect in some ways um, occupied by other energy so we're just freeing that up now um, of these other past life relationships to make way for our romantic feelings feelings and exploring them And you just got to work on um, the two of you letting go of this fear of, of healing your energy of not. Um, and I think a lot of the fear has to do with like being hurt again. Um, maybe fear of, yeah, fear of that, fear of abandonment, like that sort of thing that's preventing you from moving forward in what could really be a beautiful relationship. So that's what the two of you, that would be your homework um, if it were up to me, <laughs> what I think you should work on. And the masculine, as I said before, that he just needs to be confident that he's on the right path that he's, and he's headed in the right direction. That's what this card means too. Uh, golden path. This is like the yellow brick road to me. And, you know, he's headed off toward the Emerald City in the right direction. He just needs to keep powering forward. Trust and power forward. For you, it's the sorrow is back. You are holding on to this pain, is what Mother Mary comes to say. Um, you're going to have to let it go, and you're going to have to exercise some of this forgiveness that keeps popping up. First with yourself, for whatever you're you know, upset with yourself about. Um, you know, how did I even end up in this type of situation? Why didn't I know better? You know, all of that stuff, guilt, again, regret, all that, we have to let go. Um, Mary guides you to do it now in order for you to be able to move forward into something um, much more beautiful. From the angels to the masculine, the two of air, more indication of a decision. Being unable to, or willing to make that decision, having reached a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. These indicate, um, both the romance cards and the other angel cards here indicate that he will be successful uh, in making a decision. He will do the right thing. That's what's here in his subconscious, this justice. Do the right thing um, and continue down the right path. He's on the right road. To you from the angels. The dreamer with Archangel Metatron. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. That leads to unexpected opportunities. More air and earth here. Uh, the dreamer for me represents the planet Mercury, uh, which rules Gemini and Virgo. So there's your air and earth again. This is about a brand new path, like one that you never walked before. You're taking a chance. You're letting go of all that fear, of every, of all the restraint, anything that was holding you back. You're letting go of all of it and just jumping in. And from the romance angels to the masculine, express your love. So exactly what he was asking you to do, he's guided to do the same by the romance angels themselves. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture is what they say. And to you, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And I do feel... Um, that this is your partner, although I feel that it's, again, someone or something else as well from which you have to separate yourself. But I think that there's going to be some separation between the two of you because the, you've both got some work to do. You've both got some, um, you've got, you both got to make, work on making yourselves emotionally available as they say. And when you do, then that, that maybe can impart what um, Mary is sad about. But when you do and you begin to explore these romantic feelings, there is something very beautiful um, ahead together for the two of you between the eternal flame and the two of water. It's just a lot of, you guys are like weighed down. That's the problem. You've, you've both got like weights tied to your ankles. Cut those loose. Take the shackles off your feet so you can dance. I hope that you find this reading helpful and that you enjoy it. Namaste, Angel.